Hi everyone, Donut here. Today we're going to be talking about an incident coming out of Chatsworth, Georgia, involving the Chatsworth Police Department and the tasing of an 87-year-old woman. I wasn't going to make a video about this. We spoke briefly on it the other night on stream until I, I got to thinking about it and people started requesting that I, I make a response to what H3H3 H3 had to say about it. I've been following Ethan for years. He's a major influence on me becoming a full-time YouTuber and pursuing that before it was actually made possible. I always loved how he stuck up for the little guys, some of the smaller channels, and how he, he brought certain people who deserved it to justice. You guys know I'm into that kind of stuff. Just, just a little bit just just a little justice boner not only that but when my mind would go to dark places when you know I would get off of a hard shift when I was on patrol you know seeing a dead kid or a mangled body or something I could always pull up a little vape nash or any one of Ethan's reaction videos and it would make me feel better. We watched some of what he had to say the other night on stream and I, I may have gotten a little bit heated but it wasn't anger towards Ethan it was more disappointment towards one of my favorite YouTubers, a person I look up to a lot, saying a lot of incorrect things about a profession that I, I care about very much. Ethan is an extremely influential person. I admire his success, but when you're an extremely influential person and you garner millions of views for every single video that you make, people pay pay really, really, really close attention to every little word that comes out of your mouth. When incorrect information is spread about a profession such as policing as a whole, then it can put negativity in people's minds and it can lead to police officers actually being heard on the streets. Let's go ahead and move on to the incident. We're gonna talk about what happened first, then we're gonna take a look at what Ethan had to say in his video. First off, the title, Police Use Taser on 87 Year Old. That sounds fucking awful. When I first saw that, I was like, holy shit. But then the objective reasonableness bug bit me and I got to researching. On August 10th, 87 year old Martha Albashira was on the Boys and Girls Club property across from her house in a wooded area, cutting some dandelions to put in her husband's salad. An employee with the Boys and Girls Club who was working that day saw her out in the wooded area with a knife, called police, and said this to 911. Two police officers arrived on scene along with the chief of police of the Chatsworth Police Department. They gave multiple commands for her to drop the knife. When she started moving towards them, the chief took his own knife out of his pocket, showed it to her, and put it on the ground. She continued to move towards them. When she was about five feet from them, that's when one of the officers deployed a taser. Before she was tased, as she was walking towards the police officers, the officer with the taser turned on his taser. It sounds something like this. It's super loud and it's basically the same thing they do for drive stunning when you just stick the taser into somebody without firing the prongs out. Reports state that the female did not react to the taser being on or the white light coming from the end of the taser. When Al Bashir was approximately five yards away, still holding the knife in her hand, the officer fired his taser and struck her in the chest. According to police, officers helped her to her feet and placed her in handcuffs. The chief of police there, Chief Etheridge, went on to state, it is an extremely unfortunate situation. The last thing any member of our department wanted to do was use a taser on an elderly female. How However, when she began to walk towards the officer from an elevated position with a knife, the officer used the most reasonable amount of force that he could, could at the time. One of Al Bashir's nephews, who was a former Dalton police officer, stated Chatsworth police didn't appear to be doing anything procedurally wrong, but he wished they would have used more common sense to disarm her. That's very understandable. Before we start looking at Ethan's video and the comments that he made about this, I want to go ahead and state that Ethan only looked at one news source for this. I harp on it all the time that you can never find the truth in a single news source you can find all the sources that I use for this video in the description below. I even called the chief of police of Chatsworth. I couldn't get him on the phone. I left him a voicemail, so hopefully he'll return my calls and I can get a little bit more information about this incident. When it comes to something as serious as this and you have a lot of followers, I think it's important to do proper research on the topic before talking negatively about the police. As the chief stated earlier, nobody wanted to taser, but sometimes police officers are put in nearly impossible situations. I know, 87-year-old woman, fragile old woman, who's she gonna stab, right? Well, we're gonna talk about that a little bit when we get into Ethan's comments here in a second. For this part of the video, you're gonna find me down here in the corner. We're just gonna watch Ethan's video, and I'm gonna comment on what he thinks about the incident. All right, everyone, here we go. Let's watch Ethan's take on this incident. 87-year-old woman tased. Uh, wait, what's your title? What are we, three seconds, two seconds into it? What's the title say? Um, Grandma slammed by police. Huh, okay, moving along. Let me, let me, let me say this, okay. 
I respect police officers. I respect the job. I respect what they do. Thank you. But. I have a lot of buts. <laughs> First of all, you signed up for a dangerous job, and you're well compensated. You did sign up for a dangerous job, but just because it's a dangerous job doesn't mean you have to unnecessarily put your life or limb in danger. Um, well, <laughs> as for the well compensated part, uh, when I was a police officer, I made less than $30,000 a year. Now, that's not the case everywhere, especially in major cities, but for, for what you have to put up with, you're not well compensated whatsoever. Let me say, too, that there's just some chatter and some things that I'm going to probably cut out in the editing process of this, but I will leave a link to this whole thing in the description if you want to watch the whole thing so you don't think I'm cutting up bits and pieces of what Ethan is saying in this. You can go work in a fucking cafe if you don't want to be in harm's way, okay? Nobody asked you or forced you to sign up to be a cop. The same goes for the military, and I'm sorry, but my opinions are the right opinions, and if you disagree with me, you're just clearly wrong. Why do- All right, okay, so you're one of those people who says, you signed up for the job when it gets dangerous, what are you complaining about? Again, you're not signing up to get hurt. It's inherently dangerous, yeah. It doesn't mean that you signed up to get hurt if that makes any sense. Police officers sign up to protect others. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't protect yourself when things happen. Tell the story so people can join your... 87-year-old woman feeling. tased <laughs> while cutting dandelion. <laughs> I think titles like that are misleading. Was she cutting dandelions before officers showed up and tased her? Yeah, but she wasn't exactly cutting dandelions when the officers did tase her. Being in the military <laughs> doesn't make you a hero by default. But thank you, you for your sign, service. Uh, thank you for your service. Uh, let me go ahead and agree with them on that, that just because you joined the military doesn't make you a hero. I was in the military for five years myself. There's some fucking dirt bags in the military. Moving on. You signed up. If you didn't, <laughs> it's, it's a curb. risky job. It's there. It's the first part. You go, you travel around with a gun and hostile territory. Same with a cop. You walk around with a gun on your hip for a reason. It's dangerous. And you signed up for it. It doesn't make you automatically a hero. And it doesn't mean that you have the right to never be in harm's way. Because the police training in the United States is basically, if you are in any risk, shoot to kill. I respect Ethan's opinion. I respect a lot of people's opinion. But something tells me that Ethan has never been to any kind of police training whatsoever. I mean, he almost killed Ian with a shotgun when they were shooting in his last video. I personally went through police training, including some SWAT training, and was on the SWAT team for a while. And if I killed a person every time I felt that I was the least bit threatened, I would be killing people every fucking day, man. I just think that it's dangerous to be such an influential person and to make a statement like that to millions of followers because you know a lot of them are just going to go with it. Oh yeah, you're right, Ethan. Every time an officer comes under a little bit of stress or danger, they just fucking kill people. Not, not the case whatsoever, my man. She was probably a little dementic or a little senile, right? So she, the guy calls, I have a recording, but... He says, she's over here with a knife, and she seems lost. That's why he called. They're like, is she trying to stab people? He said, no, she's not dangerous. She's not mm -hmm. trying to harm anyone. She seems lost. That's why he called. She seems lost. Let me look that up. It didn't say anything about her being lost. The, the woman who called 911 said, there's a lady walking on the bike trails. She has a knife, and she won't leave. She told me she doesn't speak English, and she's walking up the trail with a knife towards me. It looks like she's walking around looking for something, vegetation to cut down or something. She has a bag, too. So the police show up with arms, with their guns drawn, <laughs> screaming, you know, drop the knife! <laughs> Can you imagine that? Okay. Um, I wasn't there. Ethan wasn't there, but he apparently has more information about this situation than I do. It says one of the officers did have their gun drawn and the other one had their taser drawn. As for the theatrics right here, I haven't seen any body camera footage. It hasn't even been released yet, and um, neither one of us were there. The, the choice between tasing an 87-year-old woman and possibly receiving a knife strike from an 87-year-old woman, you have to weigh uh, the severity. Mm -hmm. of these two situations. All right, receiving a knife strike from someone regardless of age can cause nerve damage, death, uh, lo loss of sight. Uh, a knife strike is, is deadly force. That's, that's why it's called deadly force is it's deadly. 
regardless of who it comes from it, it's it's it might it might kill you just a little poke a little poke might kill you right i'm not saying the old lady is spry or an expert she's gonna ah at the police officers but is it a possibility it's it's always a possibility can you imagine this oldie 87 year old decrepit lady ah she's all fast and shit all of a sudden she's like oh i'm an 87 year old ah <laughs> like she's all strong and fast <laughs> Can I be completely honest with you? And I'm not sitting here trying to defend every single thing the police are saying, but I've seen crazier shit than that. Am I going to trust anyone with a knife regardless of age? Uh, absolutely not. You are not entitled mm -hmm. to a perfect, harmless existence because you're a cop. You signed up for that job. And I appreciate that you're serving the community and you're doing this wonderful, dangerous job that somebody has to do. But you could have gone, you know... It is a dangerous job. You do sign up for a dangerous job, but it doesn't mean you shouldn't take every precaution to not get fucking stabbed. I absolutely hate the fact that an 87-year-old woman was tased. Were there things that could have been done differently? Maybe, but none of us were there. But when you're backed into a corner and you've tried everything you can do to not harm this woman, and you're trying to use the least amount of force as possible, what are you supposed to do in that situation? You could have done anything. Okay. I just feel like any normal person in that situation would, like, the, the thing was that she was walking towards them when they said drop the knife, and right. she didn't drop the knife. Drop the fucking door! But it's like, if you were in Can that situation, that? what would you do? You just, she'll, you'll let her walk to Back you, up. and you'll deal with <laughs> you it. You don't draw a gun. Just, you put your gun out and say, hi, can I help you? Are yeah, you okay? It's like an old lady. Put the knife down. Just, How about you just go and grab her hand and yeah, take exactly. the knife out of her hand because she's... <laughs> The 87 year old woman. Ethan said, How about you ask her to drop it? Well, they did several times. The chief even took his knife out of his pocket and showed it to her, motioned it to her, and put it on the ground. One of the deputies even did the drive stun sound on his taser that's scary as shit that usually most people would say, Well, no, I'm, I, you know, I, I'm doing something wrong here. Okay, let's talk about just plucking the knife out of her hand, right? 87 years old, they talked about her having dementia. Do you know how many calls I've been to in elderly homes where the, the orderlies need help getting an old person under control who's son? downing let's talk about the use of force options this isn't the movies it's not always guaranteed you can go up and pluck the knife out of her hand if you go up and you try to take the knife out of her hand what if it's now a tug of war match with an old lady who has a steak knife you're not guaranteed to just walk over and pluck the knife out of her hands Okay, uh, other less than lethal options. Baton. Are you going to hit an old lady with a baton? No, that would instantly break bone. Uh, tackle her. <laughs> You're not going to tackle an old lady. If you've ever been around a nursing home or people with dementia like my grandmother has, then you know that old people can still put up a hell of a fight when their dementia starts acting up or you know other other illnesses in their brains start acting up they will put up a hell of a fight and now you have one here who has a knife and they're trying so hard not to hurt her just go and grab her hand and yeah, take exactly. the knife out of her hand because she's an 87 year old woman how about you just do this <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Drop the fucking knife! You're still acting like the police officers didn't do anything prior to walking up to her, screaming, pointing guns at her, and then tasing her. Again, I'm not particularly defending the tasing of the woman, but I'm just looking at it objectively from, from all angles. I'm gathering all the facts and I'm looking at it instead of believing in my head what I think might have happened. They say they even threw a knife to the ground trying to explain- Put down the knife! She won't put the knife down! Nope, just skip that part, Ethan. They explained she wouldn't put the knife down. He didn't skip the part where they said they even took their own knives out and threw it on the ground and was like, hey, we want you to do this. Her family says at her age, the shock could have killed her. Uh, yeah. She's recovering, um, you know, still a little shook. kill off. anyone. Nobody should be tasered. But especially... It could kill anyone. No one should be tasered. Ethan said some stuff in here that just, it wasn't right. Uh, it was very, very incorrect. And I don't think he did a lot of research into it. And I know the, the counter to that is going to be... Well, they still taste an 87-year-old woman. And that's that's where objective reasonableness comes in. You need to look at all the angles of what happened there. To me, with this incident, there's such a gray area to it. Like, were they wrong? No. Were they right? No. Did they do it procedurally like the, the nephew said? Did they do it correctly by the books? Yeah, they did. As I said, I'm not particularly defending the tasing of an 87-year-old woman. I mean, that sucks. And the officer on scene did what he thought he had to do. We weren't there. Uh, but I, I, I'm always in defense of the truth and getting your facts right. And, and there are some things that Ethan said in this video that weren't factually correct at all. It's just such a shitty situation for everyone. Uh, in the end, 
They're not really sure if they're going to take legal action against the police department. The chief said he thinks his officers did the right thing. I mean, the chief was on scene at the time. And the old woman is recovering at home. She's got some bumps and some bruises and uh, says she's she's a little upset by the whole thing. But with that, but you know, with that being said, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Um, as I said earlier, you can go find Ethan's full video. I got the link of it in the description. So you can go check that out, watch the whole thing. It's 10 minutes, 12 seconds long. I love each and every one of you, and that includes Ethan. You're still one of my favorite YouTubers of all time. I respect your opinion. And um, I just think you're speaking from a place that you really know nothing about, especially with that comment about this is how the police train. That's that's wrong. How about I take you to some police training? I think something like that could be arranged where we go do some use of force scenarios with some officers out your way or some officers out my way. It, I think it could be pretty eye-opening for you. Anyways, everyone, this is Donut, and I hope you all have a fantastic day.